Chuck and Terry. And today we're going to show you how to build our kitchen pull-out drawer system. This original unit was constructed with wood glue and a pneumatic nailer. But most people don't have that type of equipment. So today we're going to put it together with specialized wood screws, glue, and a screw gun. We built this unit with a wider top to accommodate the size of our grill and a center divider to add strength. To start this project, we pre-cut all the pieces out of half-inch birch plywood. I'm going to start by assembling the top to the back. It's always helpful to have a wet rag. A little bit difficult to do by yourself. I'm going to angle it at a 90 degree angle. And we're going to see if I can do this flush on both sides. Let's start with the middle. Now I can simply do the other two areas. the uh, two sides on. If you can see I put a little piece of chunk of wood under there because this one's not going to go all the way down to the ground here. And a little bit different, difficult here. Pre-drilled this first screw just so I can get this in here. Now I'm going to assemble the bottom. Ours, we put it between 18 and 19 inches. Simply marking where this board goes, and then I'm going to glue it. All the glue off. Okay. Now we get to put the face on. Great thing about these screws is their star. It's a T10, T10 star, and they actually it makes it much easier for one person to do it. So they will stay in there. After wiping down the glue, we're gonna let it set overnight to dry. Before we can install the support boards, we're gonna to need to determine the thickness of those boards to make up for the slope inside the van. The best way to do this is lay a two by four down next to the bed and mark off the first, third, and fourth support boards, and then the location of the final stand leg. The next step, we're gonna show you how to level the bed in your van. Once you get your two by four level, you're simply gonna screw in another board or clamp in the location of that stand-up leg. 
That allows you to get your measurements here and all along this board to compensate for the bed slope. Now that we've determined the dimensions for the slope of our van, we simply cut the boards and attach them. The first two braces that are actually in the rear go all the way across. They're 48 inches long. So the second one, a little bit taller to accommodate for the slope. And then the third row is essentially just two stubby ones that allows you to slide luggage in between those two boards. So if you notice, this original leg is now way too short now that we've adjusted for slope. So we've added the five inches that I measured inside the van to this board, which gives us a new piece we can now install. With these adjustments, the bed is now level. Next, Next we're going to... Next, Next we're gonna oh. Next, we're gonna put the rails on the slide out drawer. Take your glide and slide out the rail all the way until it stops. And then simply pull down this lever and separate it from the rest of the unit. Next, mark a line at one and one eighth inch from the bottom on both sides. Now I want to attach these rails to each side of the unit. But first, make sure that this little lip here is facing up and the front of the box is also facing up. So now we simply attach using four screws provided. Keep it flush to the top. Make sure you keep the screws on the line and not try and hit in the center of the hole. These are flexible. You can adjust them up and down as you can see. In order to have a stable surface for our glide rail to attach to, we need to add three filler blocks along this edge of the bed. Next, slide your glide rail all the way out. This will expose your screw holes. Lifting the glide rail up, screw between the two two by fours. Next, I ripped a two by four at two inches by 36 inches and then drew a line one and a half inches from the bottom all the way across. I now wanna repeat the process that we use for the other rail by putting the rail on top and sliding it all the way out until we exposed the screw holes. And then I wanna simply put the screws in on the line. Note that I've replaced the factory screws with inch and a half inch screws to make them stronger. So now as you can see I've installed the rails on each side. However, when I pull this out, you'll note that this rail is not attached. So we're gonna push that back in. And now we simply screw in one three inch screw in the front. And two in the supporting area. There's most of the torque is gonna be back here. So we want two screws back here.
for the finishing touches. I've determined where I want to put my pole handle. I drill the hole and attach. And now I can easily pull out the drawer. Before installing the bed in the van, it's easiest to remove the drawer just to reduce the amount of weight. To do this, pull the unit all the way out, locate the tabs on each side, and then you're gonna adjust them down and pull out. Then simply push, push the glides back in. Now you're ready to install it in the van. I hope you enjoy your camper bed system as much as we have. And remember to hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching.